It's the end of a new month and it's time for my monthly favourites. So let's talk about some things that I have loved this month and obviously show you my Project Hem Pan updates. We got some beauty, we got some fashion. Let's do this thing. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna get out the way because I've been getting so many comments on this jacket. This amazing leather jacket. The collar, the bows, the racer stripes, the contrast stitching. It is too good. It is from Diddy Moda. I'm completely in love with it. I have worn it so much and I get so many comments on it and compliments out and about. So this has to be my first favorite. I've been wearing this. I like wearing it zipped up like a top. It looks cool open as well, but I don't know. There's just, it just, it's the collar. I just love zipping it all the way up and wearing it as like a top. I'm obsessed with it. Diddy Moda, check it out. This is such an oldie but goldie and it's literally called Gold Deposit. This is a mineralized skin finish and it is this beautiful bronzy shimmery shade. A really warm, very shimmery bronzer and I have been dousing myself in this. Since the sun started coming out, I am so ready for it to be peak summer. I'm ready to be tanned. I'm ready to be a bronzed glowing goddess so i have been imitating the appearance of a bronzed goddess by using this it just adds a beautiful sheen to your skin i don't contour with it i do my blush i do my highlight and then i use this and kind of buff them all together and it just adds this gorgeous glow to the cheek and to the forehead primarily where i wear it on my forehead and it just adds this like ethereal glow and it's oh gorgeous and i've had this for so many years i've had one of these in the past back in the very old packaging back in the day when mac was like the it girl i had this and i have repurchased it all this time you've been sat in my drawer collecting dust beautiful and it's really pretty on the eyes as well if you want just like a super tonal kind of look bang some of that on your lid bang it on your cheek bob's your uncle Robert's your mother's brother. Next is my face tan that I've been using. So I haven't been fake tanning all that much recently. I actually fake tanned for the first time in a long time the other day, because I was just like, I'm, I'm feeling very pale now. I actually didn't fully fake tan. I just used this. It's the EFFN, Effen? fragrance-free tanning water in the shade medium to dark. This does what it says on the tin. It doesn't have a scent. You don't smell like fake tan. I have tried so many tanning waters and I have loads that I have loads that I like. I love all of the ones from U Tan and Tone. I tried this one because I really like the packaging. It's very chic and minimal. All of their branding is very like, it's very Kim Kardashian, you know? It's very skims, nude, minimal, and I think it looks really chic. It caught my eye in Superdrug. It wasn't crazy expensive. I thought I would try it. And this actually is the best face tan that I've tried. It gives the most color. My U tan ones, I love, they all smell really nice, but they're very natural. Whereas this one, you see it, you, you see it. So much so that I don't just spray it on. I actually spray it on and then I use a buffing brush to make sure that I don't have any missing patches because it does really develop and you can have, you know, if you've just sprayed it and you don't blend it, you can have a little bit of an issue. It is slightly more high maintenance than my other ones, but it is more effective. I spray it on my hands and I buff it out on my hands, spray it down my neck, and then I can wear a long sleeve top and everyone thinks I'm bronzed, but I'm not. It's cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, and alcohol free. If you've never seen this brand before, then maybe give it a go if you're in the market for a new face tan. The next favorite is another fashion favorite, and it is more of a, a genre favorites colorful striped shirts which is pretty specific this one was from boohoo it is a red pinstripe and i also have one from sainsbury's that i wore in my last favorites video actually which is the the green and white stripe i'm just really into a shirt at the moment especially a colorful pinstripe shirt it's a little bit like Geek chic, granddad chic, quirky. You're wearing color, but you still look quite classic, sophisticated, because you know I love to look sophisticated. It's like a nice, fun way to play with pops of color in quite like a wearable way. It adds both color and pattern, and you can layer shirts, you can wear it under a sweatshirt, just the collar peeping out, because I'm really into my collars at the moment. Yeah, I've just really been liking colorful striped shirts. This one from Boohoo's nice, but you can get them literally everywhere at the moment. It's pretty trendy. Enjoying chucking one on top of a white tee or underneath 
my sweatshirts and just making me look like an official businesswoman. <laughs> my next favorite is a new release. It's the Benefit Precisely My Brow Detailer. So the Precisely My Brow brow pencil is one of my favorite brow products. I really like it. I've always said, you know, it's super fine. You can get a really nice line because I draw in individual hairs into my eyebrows. But they've recently launched this, which is even finer, like half the width of the Precisely My Brow pencil, which is crazy. Genuinely hair-like strokes, but like actually hair-like strokes. I feel like I'm getting like really up in your face. I'm like, listen, sit back, relax. I was also gonna grab a cuppa and I forgot. It's just so natural looking when you do it properly. I use the shade 3.5. It's the perfect shade for me. It's the shade I use in all of their brow products. If you haven't tried this yet, I really recommend it. I really, really, really like it. And I haven't seen a huge number of people talk about this yet, but I have a feeling that when it catches on, it will catch on. We have another old favorite here that I have rediscovered recently. My skin has been breaking out quite badly. I'm currently on my period and my skin the week before my period just rebels against the system. Like I cannot calm it down. Every month it is truly disastrous. Goes off on its own beat of its own drum, won't listen to me. It's like me and my skin, we fall out. We're not on the same page every month. And when that time comes around, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer is my go-to to cover up blemishes. I have so many shades. It's actually the concealer that I carry in my kit. My kit is open in front of me right now. I think I've got like nine shades of this, but the ones that I use on myself the most are Custard and Praline. And I also like Vanilla when I want to use it under my eyes, but I don't use it under my eyes very often because it's quite a matte concealer and I like something a little bit more hydrating under the eye. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you about this concealer, but in case you've never tried it, it is a long wearing, long lasting matte concealer that blends so well. It's not like a chalky, cakey matte. It's such a beautiful formula that just melts into the skin. No harsh edges. It doesn't cake. It goes on under your eyes nicely as well. You barely have to use any product. It's so pigmented. It's just such a great concealer. My next favorite has been Scotland. I had a beautiful trip to Scotland. You guys hopefully have seen the vlog. If you haven't watched the Scotland vlog, please do take 20 minutes out of your day to watch it if you just want to relax for 20 minutes. Someone commented saying it's such a therapeutic vlog and I think, oh my God, the motorbikes are out today. What is going on, guys? It's just a really beautiful vlog in my opinion. I'm really pleased with how it came out. Family, home video style vlog and I just loved it and I had such a lovely trip. So that is a favorite of the month, I would say. To be honest, I don't have that many beauty favorites this month because I've just been living out of a makeup bag. I thought I would share a couple of my favorite songs of the month. I used to do this all the time and I haven't done this in ages, so I thought that I would do it today. I'm obsessed with this song. I love it so much. We're seeing Hosea in July. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Rob got me tickets. I am just buzzing for it. I can't wait to hear this song live. Honestly, I'm back on a Paramore hype at the moment, but like from their Riot album, my favorite album that they've ever done. I've been listening to Fences, Misery Business, just a, a lot of Paramore. You know what I've been really enjoying? If You've Got The Money by Jamie T and Fit But You Know It by The Streets. I think those have been my most listened to songs. <laughs> it's been a bit of a mishmash of music this month. There's been a lot of driving. 10 hours there and back to Scotland was time for a lot of music. I don't have any TV favorites because let's be real, all I've been watching is maths. New episode is out tonight. I can't stinking wait. It is so dramatic at the moment. I'm just here for it. I love it. My final favorite is from Vive. This is the Vive Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duo. This bronzer has been my favorite this month. I talked about it in my makeup video I posted a couple weeks back, my Get Ready With Me in Scotland. I love this because it comes in two shades. You get two colors, which is so great, like it's genius. You get one slightly lighter warm toned color and one slightly deeper cool toned color. Perfect, you've got your bronze and your contour in one 
palette and it's also a good size mirror so I use this as my mirror when I was away I've actually used quite a lot of this I really love it I love the texture it is a satin finished bronzer so it's not completely matte because matte bronzers can be a little bit tricky to blend sometimes matte pigment kind of clings if it's a satin finish you've got a little bit more wiggle room with it I love the tones of this bronzer I use the shade medium so you get medium one and medium two blends really well lasts all day it's the bronzer that I'm wearing today you can get really heavy and dark with it or really soft and light with it you don't have to wear makeup underneath it you can just bronze your bare skin and it looks really nice too this has been a big favorite and also the packaging is chef's kiss beautiful good job jamie but yeah i think that those are all of my monthly favorites not too many this month but we all know why you're really here Let's start with a new Project 10 Pan product, my Too Faced blush. I've worn this every day that I've worn makeup since adding it to my 10 Pan. Oh my God, it just smells so good. I'm in two minds. I don't want this to run out because I love it so, so much, but it's in my 10 Pan, so I want it to run out. It is definitely going down. Like I have definitely made a significant dent in this blush. Obviously I only added to it. Oh, obviously I only added to why can't I speak? <laughs> I've been tripping over my words so much. I've edited out so much, I can already tell. Stumbling over my words in this video. I don't know why I'm struggling to talk today. I'm finding this hard to film and I don't know why. <laughs> why am I struggling to speak? I think I'm just very tired. I'm making good progress on this, but we're a good few months away before you see some actual significant change, I think. My Be Perfect Cronza, we are making good moves on this. Some serious dentage is happening. I think this is gonna last me forever, if I'm honest with you, how little you actually have to use. But I am really, really enjoying using this. I have fallen in love with it. It was in my monthly favorites last month. Like I really am loving this product. So I'm happy that it's in my 10 pan that I get to use it every day. I don't know whether the dent is gonna look bigger. I'll compare the side to side. My Benefit Hula is still going down. I really wanted to try and finish this before I head to the Philippines. I didn't want to take this with me to the Philippines, so I wanted to try and finish it before I left. But hopefully, fingers crossed, the next time I film an empties video, this might be in it, maybe the one after that. We're like scraping the edges now. We are, we are so close. Next, we have my foundation that I added last month, my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is the shade 9. It is what I'm wearing today. I haven't been fake tanning at all recently until like three days ago, so it's been far too dark for me without fake tan, so I actually haven't used it very much this month. When I come home from my holiday, I will hopefully have a lovely bronze about me, and I think that this will be the right shade for me, so we'll see more progress then. This is the, the situation. We've got like this much product. It's just a beautiful foundation, I love it so much. Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, my biggest regret of my 10 pan. This has still got a lot of product in it. I will let you know when it doesn't, but it is still going strong, still there. Another new product to my 10 pan was my Dior concealer. I have been using this every day. I love this concealer. Thrilled that it's in my 10 pan because I get to use it every day. Hopefully you can see a bit of a difference. It's looking a little bit gappier. There's a few more holes forming in it. Yeah, I'm using it every day and I'm scraping the sides now, so I don't feel like it's gonna last me too long. Next, we have our Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish, Hollywood Flawless Finishing Powder. Don't know whether it's gonna look any different. <laughs> this is where we are at with this. It's a slow burn, but we're getting there. Okay, my palette, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I've even used this this month. I think maybe once or twice I've worn eyeshadow. Obviously, I'm wearing eyeshadow today, and ironically, I didn't use this palette to do my eyes today. I've not been wearing eyeshadow. If I wear anything, I just put bronzer in my crease. So I've been struggling a bit with this one this month, but I'm gonna try and up my game. I'm not gonna take this on holiday with me, but hopefully when I get back, maybe I'm the mood strikes me to wear loads of eyeshadow again. Who knows? Yeah, we are still uh, working on orange soda and sienna. Those two shades, when they're gone, this is done. And also if you're new, hi, I'm Emma, please subscribe. If you don't know what the Project 10 Pan 
movement is. Check out my February favorites from last month. I go into a little bit of detail kind of explaining the concept again, but rather than explaining it in every single video, because I think that's probably quite dull for the people who know what Project 10 Pan is, go check out my February favorites. It's a few videos down and I talk a little bit more about it there. Finally, we have Becca Opal. And if this isn't gone, by next month, I will cry. I will cry. Like I said, I haven't been fake tanning and this is too dark for me without fake tan. It looks like a gray stripe on my cheek. <laughs> it's not flattering on my skin when it's fair. So I haven't been using it. When I have a tan, this looks lovely on tan skin. So honestly, there's like nothing left of it. It will be gone probably within like three or four uses. So just give me a week of tan skin and it will be gone. Those are my products of the month. Those are my favorites and my 10 pan. I'm sorry I didn't have any empties this month. Heartbroken, I kind of hope that I'd have at least one. So hopefully next time I will. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you're new, please subscribe and join us. I do these every month, most of the time. I'm trying to. I do weekly vlogs every week. I do other stuff too sometimes. So join us if you if you wanna. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Have the best day you guys and I will see you in my next video.